I want to talk. I want to. Hey, YouTube, do me a favor. New setup, everything. Can you do me a favor? Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell to stay notified. Y'all have been doing that amazingly as of late, and it's getting kind of weird for me to do these intros. I like to just go into the pieces. So if we could just make this a habit, I won't have to do this anymore, and it makes me feel less awkward. You have no idea what it's like talking in front of a camera when there's nobody here. I'm talking to my fucking self. Please like the video so I can feel accepted. Anyway, I want to talk to y'all about the political disc... <laughs> Ah, if you want to call it that, I want to talk to you about the political discourse on <coughs> Facebook. Um, I'm going to say if you're watching this on mobile, maybe this shit is hard for you to see. Maybe. But... If you're watching this on a computer, you should be good. You should be good. Hey, yo. <laughs> ah, ah, yo. I, I've always wanted to. Okay. When I started making videos, this was the type of shit I would talk about. All of them almost to a degree, are on YouTube, so you can look that shit up. Um, but, yo. <laughs> I know I said I wanted to... Today's not going to be all political, but whatever. Like, it's not just political discourse that's a problem on Facebook. It's all types of discourse. Y'all was going into this... Okay, okay, okay. So, we. I guess we don't even have to call this, like... Well, this is the state of Facebook, but we can call it like internet discourse in general. Like, y'all don't know how to talk to people. Maybe you lost that along the way as the pandemic like really put you in the house, really put you in the thing. Really, you was you was in there and you wasn't really talking out to like you weren't with a group of people that you had to interact with by yourself, I guess. But hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> Please. Like, I feel like you're not recognizing that a lot of older people are getting online. And they haven't experienced the internet the way you and I have. They weren't playing Modern Warfare 2. Like, you feel me? They didn't care about the new Xbox or the new, that, that Mac thing that came out. Like, you're not arguing with people who think the same way or have the same access to, like, telling them to Google it, they might not be that great at Googling. Like, they don't know how to turn Google into a JSTOR, like, type thing. They don't know how to look up scholarly articles. They don't know how to do a lot of shit. They don't know how to do a lot of shit, bro. And y'all be expecting them to, to, to lift that heavy. But then... But then on the other side, hey, yo, like, we're just going to read through a few of these things. I want to really walk you through. But does the president have anything to do with gas prices? The, the answer to this is no. Like, a decision from the president can affect gas prices. But, like, y'all really be worried about the most, most mundane shit. Like, Israel, Palestine, whole thing over there. Mention it once, maybe. Ask for how to help. I don't know. He canceled offshore drilling and pipeline after that Saudi after that Saudi raised prices. We were energy independent for the first time in seventy five years. We were actually exporting. So, in my own opinion, or in my opinion, yes, the pipeline hack. Not sure who the fuck knows. Could have been CIA, China, Russia, etc. Fracking probably next. Everything is going up. Inflation is happening. This is the half of discourse that I can't stand, bro. This is what started making me be, start being loud on stream. This is when I started, like, losing my, like, soul to communicate calmly. Because you said so much. That Gish Gallup, yo, you said so much in that comment. So fucking much. And so much of it is not related to what you're talking about. 
but you do it with so much fucking confidence. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts my soul how much confidence you have with what you're talking about. So, he directly has to do it. And he wants to go all green. Like, you already started with something that's bullshit. <laughs> like, you already started with something that's so much bullshit. And then you just keep going. He stopped shore drilling. He stopped the new pipeline that was going to happen. No fracking and no more coal. He is 100% directly responsible. Now we have to get gas from overseas and it costs way more. And then I'd be clicking y'all profiles. And I'd be like, yeah, you would be the person that has that fucking opinion. You would be the person that has that fucking opinion. And you have a moderately attractive... Because you make money. Fuck! Too easy. This is his way of pushing the Green Deal. Absolutely has everything to do with him and his administration. Yes, I believe the hack was an inside drive. An inside job. Wow. You probably believe... Uh... Oh yeah, this this is this is this was the hard one. This is where I I I like really broke down into like oh shit. Okay, we're talking about this now. You probably believe Epstein hung himself based on what CNN told you too. Wear your masks. Enjoy your day. Actually, I do not. Neither do I believe that blacks shoot themselves in the back or that blacks with chest wounds were running away. I'm gullible like that. Okay. Don't argue with people on the internet, Mike. Especially with people who let their babies decide their own gender. It's not worth the energy. <sighs> because you could have just not fucking done that. Like you could have just not fucking done that. Blacks 100% shoot each other. Not sure where you were going with that. Cops also shoot criminals and those breaking the law. More often white than black. But then again, but again, what Lisa said is true. I was, that was this morning, fuck me. That's what I woke up to. The good part is almost 100% of police shootings would stop if criminals got jobs and they still decide to break the law, stop resisting arrest. Yeah, I have to post this. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry to, to devolve away. <laughs> I have to. That shit is the best take I've ever read in my entire life. That is the best take. That is the best take I have ever read in my life. That is top tier content. And they don't do it for fucking likes. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. I'll let my, uh, he gets stopped for driving my black regularly. Like, okay, so the person is clearly in the right place. He seems to be pulling over and not running from the police. He already got the memo. Thanks for them. Why did you get attitude? Wow, you included a lot of trigger words this time. Learning well from the liberal media. Uh, very few. Uh, most of them are suicide by LEO. Mozero shooting an innocent, compliant, cooperating criminal. Wow. Just say you don't like black people and move on. So I was like, some people got... Uh, and then they just kept going. He just kept going. He, they just kept going. Uh, he stopped all land uses, plus the MSM creating panic of shortages, causes people to hoard. 
um, if humanity is at a point where, like, literally your news station telling you, hey, there's an issue with gas, makes you go out and buy more gas instead of rationing the gas that you have, you're fucking crazy. Discourse on Facebook is horrible. And I think we underestimate how big Facebook is. That's kind of like the point here. All of this shit is public, so I'm not worried about like, exp- like you make this. I also hate the thing where people are like, how, why would you take a comment out of like, out of, uh, out of context and like, like, bro, you made that shit in public. If something you say in public goes viral, you cannot try to rein that shit in anyway. Like you made this shit out loud. Like that's like going into a room saying, I hate black people like really loudly to one person and then getting mad when another person like punches you. Like, oh, you weren't part of the conversation. Like, yeah, but you said that shit out loud. Like everybody could hear you, my guy. Ah, yes, the tired old argument of masks make it hard to breathe, yet at the same time, the claim that it will let a virus pass undisturbed, which I lived in a world where viruses are smaller than two oxygen atoms. For some, masks do make it hard to breathe. You don't know their situation. Have you not heard of conditions like emphysema? They did studies showing that some virus particles pass through masks. Exactly. Reduce. Don't guarantee. These wearing masks still have contracted it. It's personal choice. If someone wasn't, doesn't want to wear one, they shouldn't be forced. Don't see us wearing masks all the time for all the other in- illnesses like viral pneumonia. Did you just say we don't wear masks to prevent viral pneumonia? Have you seen the statistics on how many people contracted the flu last year due to people distancing and wearing masks? Maybe we should. Which led me to the other thing. I was like, no wonder Japan, like, no wonder, uh, East, East, East Asian and Southeast Asian countries have mass culture. People saying, did the flu just disappear? I'm like, if you take people out of circulation, certain shit doesn't circulate as much. And the fact that that is a common right-wing talking point is beyond me. Because you are answering your question. Did the flu just disappear? Yes. Because there were less carriers of the flu who worked in places that generally carried said flu. Like... And because they weren't spitting and mixing strains and shit, it wasn't as strong. Like, come on, you know this. You know this. You know this. You know, you do this, man. You do this. And there I go again. Sorry, if you're on YouTube and you're paying attention to this. Um, I think about chat and I think about numbers. How many people have clicked off this stream since I started going into this? How many people really liked the first segment? Didn't like the second, but that's a that's a thought for later. Anyway, and then it's like, you posting this shit, and we a year and change into it. Like, what's going on with you, buddy? What's going on with you? Talk to me. Talk to us. What's what's happening here? You need help. You need a little love. You need a little attention. You need a little, you need a little, you need a little help. We know the case numbers are inflated. We know the death counts are fraudulent. We know the disease is not a threat to the vast majority. We know there are treatments. We know those pushing vaccines have an agenda. We know this pandemic is a sham. We know there will be justice. How do you de-radicalize a person like this? I grew up with you, homie. You were small. You was not talking heavy, like, with a, with a conscience. You followed the pack. But you were a good kid. You were smart. You got good marks. Nobody ever had a problem with you. I never, uh, other people never had to protect you from nothing. So the fuck is this? Leftist discourse sucks, bro. Not leftist, sorry. That's another segment. (laughs) The state of it, it just sucks, bro. 
posts like these, I'm sorry, should not fucking be up. We know this is not real. That's what we know. That post should say, we know that this, this meme is bullshit. You posted it and it was made uh, uh, apparently August 8th, 2020. We're in April, May. We're in May of 2021. Are you still here, bro? There are people that you and I both know that you probably don't care about anymore that have died from this virus. That people have committed suicide that you and I know. And you, for the sake of everything, say, this isn't a threat. Like, suck my dick. Like, what do you want from me? Oh, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to end the segment. Um, so, yeah, I know you probably heard this already, but that's not the point of this. That's not the point of this. It's also okay to do it without a vaccine. Take off your mask. It's called freedom. We shouldn't get so excited over simple freedoms we're entitled to suck my... Okay, school me. Okay, a public health crisis is greater than freedom. If we are literally about to get nuked, it is not your freedom to walk around going, hey, hey, they're in the bunker. Aim it that way. Oh, go oh we're getting invaded. No, no, get the guys over there. They're going that way. Like, that's not cool. 100% incorrect, sir. Even our founding fathers agreed to never give up freedom for security. And there is no public suck my dick again. And there is no public health crisis. Never was for all. Only about 0002% of the population. That's not a crisis. Our diabetes and cancer problem is a crisis. You're a piece of shit. Wow. You understand without them, we wouldn't have any, what, rights? The founding fathers? Okay, it's okay. I understand your willingness to comply and trust the government. Those vaccines and masks haven't saved one single life, but have taken many. India is literally screaming at you. What are you talking about? We live on an earth. Humanity as a group of human beings live on a planet or we live in a place where the simplest of shit is an argument. Facebook and social media as a whole have allowed this to become the most look. Maybe some people weren't meant to have public voices that could be loud. Not everybody needs to be a fucking star who gets mad likes. Right-wing media shit does this, bro. And I can't understand how you'll read it and watch it. And people will still doubt, oh, that's just, that's just a small fraction. It's a small, tiny little part of white supremacists. We, you debate them on the on the on the on the on the on the, the the marketplace of ideals, and you will succeed in breaking through to the light. And we can have a universe in which we all speak to each other kindly, and we provide for each other, and we love each other. And there's no ideology that's snuffed down. We all celebrate the beautiful exchange of ideas and how technology has created an easier way of method of enjoying life so we can explore the stars but motherfuckers can't even get this right so here I am talking to you about it hoping you're enjoying it and I have to have the entire weight of trying to understand that and at the same time trying to hope that people like my understanding of it. You can imagine if you had a whole generation of people sat like that, they'd probably be a lot more sad, a lot more depressed, a lot more consuming. Oh, I wonder if that's something we could exploit in the future. Motherfuckers said, <clears throat> those vaccines in mass haven't saved one single life, but have taken many. That's just straight up bullshit. Doesn't trust the government, still lives in America. Uh, that's because when they tried to force them on us to not have any, we shot them, period. Oh, my God. Why would I leave America? Why would anyone? We need to unify to stop the government from doing exactly what the Constitution was written to stop them from. Every single thing going on is from Hitler's playroom. You just got excited for a basic freedom as long as you show an ID card. Ask the Jews in the 40 how that worked out for them. It's like you skipped the whole part about how everything... He'd like sliding scope, <laughs> fuck, 
sliding scale conversations are very fucking stupid. Godwin's Law. Every conversation will end up about Hitler. Like, you're not funny. This discourse sucks. How do I break through to that person when you're not even talking to me from a realm in which I can converse with you ideologically? You're just saying a bunch of shit that you heard that makes more logical sense to your rebellious mind than actually planning to do something with it. Amazing. Amazing. And he kept going. It's cool. I respect your choices and decisions you made. What's best for your family? But understand it's not best for all in the long run. That'll affect us all as well. Like, no, I'm laughing that you can serve as a... For, for the record, I voted for Hillary and Obama. Thanks. I would have voted... Like, people watched Get Out and didn't get the joke about, I would have voted for Obama for a third term. Like, you missed what that was, like, about, and you repeat the same line. And then he said the dumb shit. COVID was literally invented to get us to take the shot. But like I said, you did what you felt is best for you, uh, but also agreed liberty isn't as important as safety. Whatever the fuck he said. COVID was literally invented. It's been proven and addicted by China. Legit last week was on the news, and that included the MSM lefties. Come visit Florida. You see what our governor does for his people. Like, you like Ron DeSantis. You literally are losing your fucking mind. But Facebook's not all that bad because you can get funny videos like this. Let's move the east. Storms get wait. I hear a footstep. All right, I'm at the top of the map. That's dead ass how y'all be though. <laughs> 